Active or Advanced Control Technology for Integrated Vehicles program was NASA's effort to build even advanced F-15, and the outcome was the F-15 Stoll MTD, a modified F-15 designed to take off from damaged runways because in the event of a war with USSR, airstrips would be among the first targets, so the Air Force wanted to ensure they could still get fighters in the air. These efforts were further reinforced by the introduction of thrust vectoring technology, and then canards were added in front of F-15's wings in 1988. This program was a huge success, while a standard F-15 Eagle needed more than 7,500 feet of clear runway to land, the F-15 Stoll MTD could do it in just 1,650 feet. In 1993, a new F-15 active program was hoping to use the fighter as a testbed to see what capabilities the U.S. could develop for further generations of fighters. NASA also introduced a Pratt & Whitney Pitchaw balance beam nozzles with a full 360-degree arc in which the nozzles could redirect outflow. The F-15 used for these programs was ultimately retired in 2009.